Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into calculation groups and the visual interaction. This is part two of a previous video. I will post the link of that video in the description of this video. Let's get to Power BI and take a look. Previously in the part one video, what I had is uh, this map shows a percentage um, by state or province and uh, when you select a, a value and uh, we were getting some sort of an error message here which uh, we saw in the part one video now the challenge uh, we still have a challenge from this is not working as expected when you're clicking on a sales value column uh, it's uh, you select a either a state or a value column or a percentage column everything works perfectly fine the challenge comes is when you are clicking on a map let's see if I click on a British Columbia what is happening in the matrix view you, you see the percentage is showing 6.66 percent which is fine but the value is also showing 6.66 6 percentage so basically both value and percentage are showing the percentage uh, in this video we are going to solve how we're going to extend our solution which we did in part one that clicking on the map also uh, show the correct value in the matrix view so the value column should show the dollar amount and the percentage should show the percentage amount first thing first what we're going to do is in this particular visual i created a dummy a measure called percentage and that Dummy measure is, I will show you how we're going to do that. You can call it something else. I call it percentage. You can, whatever you want to call it, uh, and equal to zero value. And then I used this in my um, tooltip so that whenever I'm hovering over, I'm getting the correct um, uh, value percentage. Now, the question is why we're getting the percentage? Because we have a in part one video we show we looked into how a apply metric calculation group was created where when the value is set to yes it it shows the percentage value so let me actually get to uh, tableau editor here in apply metric calculation group for the item yes calculation item yes what we did was we called our existing calculation group where we said matrix is equal to percentage so it automatically give us the percentage whatever in the metric uh, calculation group in the percentage we calculated the percentage and that is what this yes will return when the yes is selected it will always return the percentage and that's how we are getting the percentage even we are doing using a dummy measure here is equal to zero we are getting the percentage so far so good now the problem is when we are again going back to the problem when we're clicking any data point here in the map the value and the dollar showing the same uh, percentage um, the fix for this is what we need to do is we need to exclude the measure that when we are using the percentage measure then do not uh, then only calculate the percentage show the percentage otherwise just whatever the measure is being used just show that um, i did a video on how you can exclude measures uh, many ways to exclude my years in calculation group do check out that video I will post the link of that video in the description of this video as well so what we're going to uh, do here is I'm for now I'm just going to use is selected my year is percentage only then we do the calculation on percentage otherwise just use selected my year So let's see if this fixes it by the changes so now as you can already see if I select British Columbia right now I'm getting 6.6 .6 percentage and also I'm getting the sales dollar now there's a little bit uh, further change we need to make because what it is doing is it is showing that as in a percentage uh, even it's giving the full value sales dollar value but it's showing the percentage and the reason behind that is because in the apply metric yes uh, 
calculation item we said the format string is percentage so we need to put the condition around the format string as well so what we can do is we just copy this code here and go to format string expression what we can do here is if our selected measure is dollar uh, percentage which is our dummy measure then use the this format string which is a percentage otherwise whatever the measure we are using uh, there is a function called selected measure format string otherwise use whatever the default uh, format string is given for the measure just use that so apply that so once we do this change here you go now we see the dollar value uh, in the proper format and also the percentage value so now the solution regardless we select a data point in the matrix uh, does not matter which data point we select whether we select a value data point or a percentage or a state or a country the map visual get filter accordingly and vice versa when we are selecting a data point in the map visual it correctly shows the values in the metric visual as well again this is a very simple uh, video uh, just to highlight that's when sometimes you are using calculation groups you really can run into certain challenges and how to develop a solution to um, overcome those challenges let me know what you guys think about this video um, do check out part one video because uh, that will explain the whole problem uh, in detail until next video have a great day Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.